You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. Are we going to be at war with uh, Iran shortly? As you know, uh, the uh, Saudi Arabian major uh, oil field uh, facilities, refineries were hit on this past weekend with two dr- drone strikes um, and set those oil fields ablaze. Uh, affecting nearly 5% of the world's oil supply. Over 5 million gallons of oil per day uh, has now been taken off the market. Prices of light, sweet crude is going up in America. And oil prices, gas prices are jumping sky high by as much as 20 and 25% at the pumps here in America because the Saudi Arabian attack and uh, the, uh, the attack on Saudi Arabia, and it's now been concluded by the national security segment of our nation along with Tribulation Trump and others, including Saudi Arabia themselves, that this attack was done by the Iranian people who are retaliating for Trump pulling out of the Iranian peace deal that had been put together by the long-legged Mac Daddy and bringing greater and drac- draconian sanctions upon the Iranian, Iranian people. And their economy is suffering. They are struggling in Iran uh, to try to make ends meet. So they are retaliating. And so will Tribulation Trump not call for war? I don't think he will. Maybe some of the hawks like uh, Pompeo, Secretary Pompeo, or some of the other hawks within the Republican administration will tell Trump that it's time to strike Iran, help uh, them putting troops on the ground or some other kind of a drone strike against Tehran or some other place or some other facility, what will happen? I can tell you this, Trump does not have the heart for war. Uh, Trump will not bust a grape when it comes to war. Trump ain't no, Trump is not, he ain't got the heart for war. He ain't got the stomach for it. He ain't that kind of man. Trump is is a predator. He is not an open fighter. He doesn't have the courage. Now, Pompeii, and now that uh, John Bolton is gone as a national security advisor who would definitely say strike Iran in a heartbeat, we'll see who's going to take up the slack. It might be Mike Pompeo, who is also very much, very hawkish, and there are other people that are hawkish within. So if we do go to war, what does that mean? Because it will not be an easy war. If Trump strikes Iran, it is on. I can tell you that it is on. If Trump strikes Iran, Iran is going to incinerate Israel because it's just a hop, skip, and a jump down the road uh, from Iran rather than trying to fire missiles at New York City. Iran's response will be what Saddam Hussein did with Scud missiles uh, into Jerusalem. So, and, and, it, and it, that's how the fight will go. And then if, if, if Trump sends troops into uh, Iraq to try to cross the borders into Iran, it will be on again. Other Islamic nations will join in the fight. We'll see what the United Nations will have to say about it. And the other thing, will Congress approve of a war act against Iran? We don't know that they will. Uh, Congress is not necessarily in favor of a war against Iran. But on the other hand, if Iran has had taken out two oil fields in Saudi Arabia with drone strikes, listen, the, the more hungry bellies and more people uh, in the financial duress uh, in Iran, uh, you're going to see more strikes, and Russia will come to the aid of Iran. China will sit at the aid of Iran, and we could see a cataclysmic world war uh, because Trump pulled out the Iranian peace deal. He unilaterally pulled out of that deal just to show he's an idiot. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a blusterous guy. He likes to think he's a bad mama jamma, you know, and he did it. And, and now we're going to pay the prices of it. He's been begging. And one of the reasons why John Bolton has been fired, that we resigned, Trump is not, has been begging before the Iranian strike 
Trump has been begging Iran to come back to the conference table with no preconditions to talk to them. And Trump was going to ease the sanctions against Iran because his advisors were telling him that Iran is going to start a war. So Trump doesn't have the stomach nor the cojones for a war. So he's been begging the Iranian Ayatollahs to come back to the table. John Bolton disagreed with that and, and, and resigned. So we're, we're at a very interesting situation. We'll see how it's all going to develop. Hope you got your, hope you prayed up with Jesus and got all your financial dealings and your ducks in a row because it's going to get ugly. And not only that, with all the legal problems that Trump is facing here in America, it's just going to get uglier than Lamont Monroe. This is a bit of a news blog we do looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the Word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the man report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning, and I'm here to serve you with news and information.